What if I told you that this background behind me is actually fake? This is what the room I'm filming in looks like, but using AI, I'm able to change the background to different options like this, this, or even this. And I'm going to show you how you can do it in this video absolutely for free. Let's get started. The first tip is lighten. Like any other video, when you're filming it, lighten plays a very big role. You want to make sure that you are well lit. So go to a corner of your house that has a very good lighting. If you have studio lights like LED lights or softbox, use that. But if you don't, it's fine. Just use natural light and all you need to do is go to a corner of your house, open the window or open a door, sit in front or you can even go outside to film. But you just want to make sure that you are very well lit because it's going to be strange if you are like dark and your background is brighter or whatnot. So just make sure that you are very well lit so that the video looks more appealing. Okay, tip number two is that you want to be filming against a plain background. You want your background to be as plain as possible, okay? So just your wall and a door. If there's any decorations or like objects behind you that will clutter the space, you want to remove that because I'm going to show you uh, as we go on in the video why this is very important. You want your background to be as clutter-free as possible so that the effect will come out better. Now that your background is clutter-free, the next step is to mount your phone or your camera to your film. And the great tip here is that you want to make sure that your phone is on a tripod so that it is stable and it does not move throughout you shooting the video you will see later that this is very important so that it's easy to blend you with your background so you want to make sure that your phone is stable is on a tripod and you don't move it throughout filming tip number four is that you want to keep movements very minimal so a little body movement here and there is okay but you don't want anything crazy like doing this as you can see it's going to look weird blending with the background so you want to keep movements in front of you make sure that your hands are not doing anything crazy so that you can blend your background smoothly later next tip is to make sure that you're getting a medium shot this means that you're getting at least from your belly your chest to your head and then you leave a little space above your head because during the course of this video you might need to zoom in at some point and if you're getting too close your head is just close to the top you're going to be zooming in and cropping your head and you don't want that so make sure you're getting a very good medium shot now once you have all these tips down it's time to record your video go ahead record your video and then it's time to edit your fake background so let's go to the next step okay i have my laptop here so let's open CapCut to edit the video now i'm using CapCut because it's the app that i'm already used to is what i use no need to worry if you use another editing platform you can do this it may be a different interface the different look but it's the same exact steps so you don't need to worry to start on our editing you're going to open the CapCut app and then click on create new project then you're going to import all the raw footages that you've created for this video right you're going to highlight them and then import them and drag them into the timeline once it's in the timeline you're just going to do all the basic edits that you do for any video like cutting out the awkward silences the pauses or deleting any part that you don't need it's very necessary that you make all these edits before you add your background because once you add your background it is going to be difficult to you know edit all these things without affecting the background i'm also going to go ahead and color grade my video it's not necessary for you if you don't but you can see that it makes the video look so much more polished and professional so i always like to do that but if you don't it's not always necessary if all these steps are new to you and you want to know how you can edit your videos on CapCut PC, you know how to color grade your videos, cut it properly, add effects, then let me know. I'm going to create a full CapCut tutorial for PC for beginners very soon. I'm hopefully going to have that up on the channel by maybe next week. So look out for that. But let's go back to editing this video. You're done making all your basic cuts and color grading and you're happy with it. You're going to grab a still shot from the video by clicking on this icon on the top right and click on export and that will help you save a high quality screenshot from your video. Now that you have your screenshot it is time for us to get our ai background and this is where it gets very interesting okay so please pay attention to this part browser search for firefly.adobe.com this is the website that we're going to use to generate our very beautiful background that will blend into our own background now adobe firefly offers various other ai tools like text to image you know vector design templates but for this video for this effect we're going to be using the generative field tool so click on generate and then you're going to click on upload image to import that screenshot that you saved from your video and just let it load if you need to adjust the size or position of your image then click on this pan tool and you can move things around but if you're happy with it you're going to click on insert and then use the brush tool to brush over the parts of your background that you want to be replaced with ai this is where you need to make sure you're very careful to leave a little space between yourself and the part that you highlight so that you can allow for movement when you're moving your hands or your body and it will make sure that your 
background blends with yourself very naturally if you accidentally highlight a part that you don't want no worries at all just click on this subtract tool and then you can clean it up to get back on track when you're done highlighting the edges scroll down and paste a prompt of how you want your ai background to look i've included some examples that you can use in the description box for you to just copy and paste so please be sure to check that out once you're done putting your prompt you can now click on generate and allow the ai to load and do its magic it will give you three options so just go through them and check for the one you like for me i only liked one out of them so i'm going to click on download and save it to my computer afterwards if you're not yet happy with any of the options simply you can click on more and it will generate additional options for you if you're still not happy with the options don't worry just go back and type in a more specific prompt to get better options or maybe you like one part of the background and not the other part you can simply highlight that part of the background and then type a prompt to change it into what you want just keep trying it until you get something that suits you then once you're happy with it like i said click on download and save it to your phone or your computer okay now that you have your beautiful backgrounds do as many as you want it is now time to choose one and go back to your editing software to add it as the background to your video before you add the background back to your editing software here's a very important tip that most tutorials on this topic will not show you because you have cut up all the silences from your video right you are going to have a lot of chop chop clips on your timeline but we need this video all of them to be one clip so that it's easy to drag the background over it so there are two options that you have one is that you can export the video so that it's going to be one clip and then you import it back into the timeline or if you don't want to waste time exporting or you don't want to waste your story space then you go to do this next option which is what i'm doing you're going to highlight everything on your timeline and then right click and click on create compound clip this is going to combine all of the clips the audios whatever is on your timeline to be one clip all together now that you've combined all your clips as one we can now go ahead to import our background of choice drag it to the timeline and then extend the duration to match the length of your video next you're going to grab the video over the background so it's an overlay you can also drag it back into the main timeline that's if you want you can still leave it there it will be the same effect point you will notice that you can't see the background behind the video but don't worry that is where the masking tool comes in click on max and then click on this rectangle one and it will be applied to the video next you're going to drag the rectangle by dragging the arrow on top or on the bottom and fix it properly to show yourself then you're going to use the feather set and scroll down to the feather set and, and choose between six to seven because this is the perfect number to have that perfect blend so that your video perfectly blends smoothly with the background and just like that you can go through your video and now see that the background is showing behind and it looks like you shot your video in a professional youtube studio congrats hey right, guys i'm filming with natural light and the sun is going down so fast so i just have to round up i hope that you found this very very helpful if you had any challenges please let me know in the comments and if you found this successful you went ahead to create your own beautiful ai background it worked for you then also let me know in the comment section like i said earlier there are prompts that you know you can use to create your own backgrounds they are going to be in the description box so feel free to copy that to create your own now in conclusion i hope you know that having a good background and having like beautiful aesthetics is just one part of making good videos and being a successful youtuber or content creator there's so much you need to learn you need to learn how to come up with good ideas good video ideas good topic to know your target audience you need to know what's trending and how to maximize it like how to design your thumbnails and all that that's what this channel is about i'm going to be dropping so much more tutorials in the future so make sure to subscribe also if you want one-on-one -on -one help you want someone to hold your hand and walk you through maybe help you create a strategy for your content create a strategy for your channel or help you with editing your videos and editing your thumbnails i'm currently taking clients and so there will be the link in the description box you can chat me up or book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me that's going to be in the description box and it is super super affordable right now so get that help so that you can outsource some things and you can succeed as a content creator all right guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video click here if it's ready i should have a video here or here just click and i'll see you there bye